The domestic violence trial for actor Jonathan Majors is underway this afternoon. The movie star now faces the possibility of uh, up to a year behind bars if convicted. Majors has pleaded not guilty to charges of assault and aggravated harassment. The case stems from a dispute last March in New York City involving him and his former girlfriend. The 34-year-old has denied the allegations, saying she attacked him. CBS News national correspondent Jerika Duncan has more. Hi there, Jerika. Glad to have you with us. So we understand that just a year ago, Majors was on the rise. His star uh, just continued to ascend. But walk us through what happened in court today. You were there. How did he appear? He appeared very relaxed and, and confident. He had uh, what we believe is his now girlfriend by his side, actress Megan Good. He had his Bible in his hand, a coffee mug. Um, his attorney had a lot of questions in reference to how the proceedings would go, as well as the prosecution. And that's sort of what's being worked out right now, a lot of technicalities. So the first issue that they address is wanting to close uh, the proceedings off to the public. And the judge ultimately decided that certain parts will be close to the public to um, protect some of the rights or the rights of the defense to make sure that uh, Majors gets a fair trial. Um, but right now they're deciding on whether or not there will be a motion to keep certain information sealed. Um, so there's still a lot that has to be worked out before we hear opening statements. Um, but the issue, of course, as you can imagine, when you have a star like this, a movie star who people definitely identify with and, and know, um, to even see some of the court reporters kind of taking a double look or smiling uh, to see these two actors in the courtroom, it's obvious that there are concerns for the defense about getting this fair trial that, that keeps coming up in arguments. And Jerika, we're curious about the evidence being presented. We've seen, uh, I guess, text messages, but he says he was actually attacked. And he's going to need to convince uh, the jury and the judge that that is the case. So how are his lawyers planning to make that argument in his defense? Well, early on, uh, Priya Chowdhury, which is the attorney for Jonathan Majors, made things available, information, videos, photographs, uh, to counter what um, the alleged victim said happened to her. So it will be up to the jurors ultimately to decide and balance out that information. But one person that I think people will be curious to hear from is the driver in the car where some of this alleged behavior happened, yeah. where there was pushing and shoving and grabbing of phones. Um, we understand that he has been questioned by prosecutors. Um, the defense said that his statements will back up what Majors is saying, but we have yet to actually hear from that driver, as well as many other witnesses. We understand that the prosecution is expected to call about 14 witnesses. And one of the issues going back to whether or not uh, there will be an admission of prior bad acts as they call it uh, in, in the legal world. And essentially, it's a tool used to say this person has a behavior of, or a, um, not a behavior, but a pattern of a certain behavior. And we saw it used in Cosby. We saw it used in the Harvey Weinstein trial. So that's also something uh, that we will hopefully learn uh, in the next few hours or possibly tomorrow whether that will be allowed. And we might hear from people uh, who were also in relationship with Jonathan Majors to get a sense of if this is a pattern of behavior. That's what the prosecution would be trying uh, to prove in order to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt that, as they say, he assaulted their, their um, client. Um, but again, Jonathan Major saying that is not how it happened right now, facing three counts of reckless assault. He's also facing three counts of unintentional assault and could spend up to up to a year in jail if he's convicted. Great to get that latest information from you, uh, Argerica Duncan, who was there in the courtroom and will continue following this trial. Jerika, thank you. Thank you.